Well, hey, what's up, guys? It's just me, your buddy, Curious HVAC guy. I'm up on a roof hanging out, and I'm kind of bored, so I figured now would be a good time to highlight something that was sent to me a little while ago. So I got this thermal imaging camera by Top Down. They're not a sponsor or anything, but they sent me this to try it out. So I'm going to try it out today. Now, it's it's a basic thermal imaging camera. It's, uh, what is this, 25... 256.92 high res. I don't know what that means. Real time temperature waveform. That sounds cool. I don't really know what that means. It's compatible with Android, which is really cool because that's all I use. It's got a temperature abnormality alarm, which you can set. So of course, it's Celsius, Fahrenheit. Uh, customizable imaging options, op optimization, whatever that means as well. Uh, you can make videos with it. All sorts of cool stuff. I've used it a couple times, not in a video form. Um, on a couple of refrigeration calls, I've used it to just check receiver levels. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Like, I don't use a thermal imaging device enough to justify the cost of a all-contained or self-contained thermal imaging, you know, something, something that's basically its own device. This, you plug into the bottom of your phone, you download the app, and it uses your phone as the monitor. So I'm going to plug this in and see if I can get some footage of it in action to actually show you guys. Uh, now this one, it's only like 300 bucks on Amazon, but if I play my cards right, there should be a discount code down in the show notes down below. Wait, 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 down below, down there. There should be a discount code or some sort of link you can click on and uh, I don't know, get like 50, 60, 75 bucks off, something like that. So anyway, yeah, check it out. If you like it, if you don't, whatever. I don't care. I'm not selling it. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna show it because I didn't realize how cool these things were until somebody showed me. Like uh, Chris Stevens from HVACR Videos, he uses one quite a bit. Uh, Kevin Compass from the Advanced Refrigeration Podcast, he uses one quite a bit. And just from hearing about it on social media and whatnot, I'm like, yeah, I gotta get one of these, dude. It's, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, let's check it out. Well, it just so happens I'm also here on a, an exhaust service call. So I am going to pull the cover on this, check out the motor, which I can hear, and I'm going to throw my thermal imaging camera at it and see what kind of temperatures this motor is at. Uh, it sounds like it's running. Uh, I'm assuming the belt is probably broken or something crazy has happened. And then I just want to walk around and check some condensers and um, just see if there's anything odd I can spot with this thermal imaging device like i said i've only used it one other time um, and that wasn't that exciting so let's check it out all right guys here it is so this is the charging cable right here right but also I'm not exactly sure, but I've used it for this. So I have a pretty thick case on my phone. So if you have a case on your phone, you can use this male to male type C adapter, or excuse me, male to female. Don't worry, I know anatomy. Male to female type C adapter. And you can plug this guy, let me just bust this thing out of here. You can plug that into the bottom of this, and then plug the other side in your phone. It is kind of cumbersome. Uh, but the other thing you could get, which I kind of feel like they should just include with this kit, is uh, they make a Type C adapter. You can buy them on Amazon, like packs of two for like five bucks. But it'll just extend this, so you can just plug this in to the bottom of your phone through most cases. Um, it's not terrible, but like I said, I feel like they probably should just throw one of those in here. Um, but this will get the job done. So anyway, let's get this hooked up and see what we can see. So here's our exhaust motor. The belt broke, no big deal. Motor's not seized up, looks like a fairly new motor. So before I do anything, I'm gonna, like I said, turn the thermal device on and just kind of see how hot it is, just out of curiosity. Here's our Top Don app. We'll go ahead and open the thermal imaging section. Looks like we are upside down. 
because I am using the male to female adapter. So let's go ahead and adjust this. We'll just rotate it. There we go. All right, there's our exhaust, like I said. There is our motor. It is 143 degrees, bud. Let's see, let's compare that to our pulley, for example, which is, uh, I don't know, 96 degrees approximately, but look at that, man, white hot. And you can change the color contrast on this. I prefer this color contrast, so I'm not gonna change it. Let that go. Let's see what else we got going on over here. So, this is our currently operating rooftop unit, right? Um, it's only operating in one stage. Look at this. So, there's our condensing coil, our micro channel condensing coil. There is what I'm assuming is circuit number two, circuit number one, and circuit number two. That. You can see the distributor tubes over there. The surface of the metal is quite hot, of course. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got an operating condenser unit over here. Let's look at this guy. Look at that. The head of our compressor, 100 and uh, let's see, 190 degrees. Let's see. We can easily just check the. Uh, Pretty accurate, I'm guessing. Our discharge temperature. Let's see, that's 190 degrees. You don't want the discharge temperature any higher than 225. That's awesome. And I don't know if I fully explained it or if you guys caught it, but the the bright areas are obviously the hot, hot, hot areas. So what we're looking at right there is the head of the compressor, our compressed high pressure, hot vapor gas going down through our discharge line, going over into our condenser. And it looks like it comes into the condenser up at the top there. Maybe it's, no, actually I think it comes in through over there. Um, yeah. Then we de-superheat, condense, subcool, and then we come out this thing as a liquid. What else we got up here? Look at the roof. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Let's see, our ice machine condensers are not running at the moment. This rooftop unit here isn't running at the moment either. Oh well. Now this dark blue area that kind of looks like a shadow, that's just condensate water dripping down. Nice and cold. It's pretty cool. I think you just walk right up to this thing and tell which circuit's running, top or bottom. I mean, yeah, you could also feel it, but that's not as fun, right? Our new belt's on there. We got spinny, spinny action. We're all good. Hope you guys liked the video. Like, subscribe, give it hearts, all that fun stuff. We'll see you on the next one.